Tet. My Tet year itine albersili. Twama, the two we build a best character. These are moments that happen in 2022. So, to end the year off, we're going to discuss the best moments that happen on Mitch's Star Master, as well as what are the best BLs of each category. So, without wasting any more time, let's start at the very beginning. January 2022. 2022 was the first year that I've taken a two week break for making videos. When I came back, it also happens to what was supposed to be Bay Weiss's 100 anniversary. But she passed away on the last day of 2021. She was so close. After some debating, I decided to make my mall pole go reveal as my first 2022 BL. Both to celebrate her anniversary, but also say my respects to her in the afterlife. Thank you for being a friend. It's now time to reveal what is the most popular Miss Star Master Show of 2022. Green Star, do the others. Certain. The winner is... Spirit Star Messer! I was certain that Amy Burst Reloaded would win, considering how many views those videos tend to have. But my community decided that my own passive series deserves the title more. Spirit Star Master with most popular show is also funny because there's only one new episode released this year. Remember this. This episode is special because it reveals the reasons why Star Master like BCF so much. It reminds me of a certain moment that also happened this year. But I get it ahead of myself. <laughs> Since we're talking about remember this, I do want to apologize for the uses of a term that is not only outdated, but also offensive to polo people. Ever since 2021, I want to make sure that my videos are as inclusive to many groups as possible. That means that any stereotypes or terms that I consider to be offensive are off the table for this channel. This was the main reason why characters like Joe and the Capper siblings got their names and the size changed later in the year. I did not want to offend a community that was already having hard times in the world. But unfortunately, I didn't know at the time that I used a alias term in a few of my videos. This was definitely because my lack of knowledge of priority at the time, which was also embarrassing because remember this was the first video 
video that I bought that topic up. Officially, I did know the proper terms, and we moved every message of that official term off my Spirit Star Wiki and in my future videos. Once again, I do want to mention that my channel, as well as my other ones, is a inclusive community. If you find me use any offensive terms or stereotypes in my videos, then kindly let me know so I don't repeat the same mistake ever again. Now that I'm done apologizing, let's get back to the timeline. February has a few important moments. The first being the return of the worst and best series. In 2020, I want to express what are the best and worst Spongebob episodes in my opinion. However, doing a top 10 of them was already a saturated market. So instead, I decided to says pick one best and worst episode for each season. Therefore, creating the worst and best series. For three years, I was thinking of doing the top 10 best gumbo episodes BL after doing three worst lists already. But I couldn't really explain why I like them without it being repetitive. Not to mention that there are just so many good Gumba episodes compared to the worst ones. So instead of making that top 10 video, I decided to revive my worst and best series for Good Ball in 2022. Before anyone asks, this, I'm still going to make part 2. It's just that I had crucial IRL stuff that have been going on this year, which I'll explain later, but I promise that I will get part 2 done before either the Gumbo movie or season 7 releases. Gumbo is it the only show that I cover in February, but Spongebob as well. Remember my Minute Madness reveal for 2020? Well, I feel like I needed to redo that video since I didn't really like my previous opinion on it. The remake of my Mini Madness reveal is also the start of the Elvis Fi tell arc. This art was all about Essie becoming confused about herself after Star Master told her that someone had bison three characters in the say so. The three episodes that were covered were Mini Madness, obviously, Fake It Till You Make It for Flesset is Madison, and the name for Good Ball. All of these episodes imply priority. I feel like the name was the most obvious one out of the three cover, which makes me wonder if the wires know about priority. But considering that episode since development must have been for 2013, I doubt it would be the good kind. 
Hey, Star Master! Another season 3 episode also messes priority by using the offensive term that you apologized for earlier. Oh, so they mustn't know about it then! Anyway, this arc also revealed that Essie had kidnapped Star Master's ace spirit. Never underestimate Essie. In the end, Star Master managed to split Essie and Aces Star Master apart so that they could live peacefully. Despite the Elder's fight are being learned driven, all the episodes barely had any audience with Tessin. I did eventually know about it and made versus of the reviews without all the art stuff, but that wasn't enough to say these reviews. After seeing the statistics, I honestly have no idea why I thought it was a good idea to have worse stuff put onto my reviews in the first place. Maybe you were trying to keep your own self well a bit by attesting them with recognizable selves? I see, I think that was the main reason why I did that. This will start. You're welcome. If the poor audience we tested for the Elvis Fire Arc was a sign of this to come, the Spirit Star Master was a great dancer of being castle. We'll get back to that so later. But it's now time to reveal the winner of the most popular, the most like. At the most bolded be of 2022. And the winner of these three words is... The Mighty Ego episode of Aber's Reloading. I tell you, that game will make their debut here. This build's this entire was formatted almost the same as my most popular BBL at all time, the Gumbo CBO. I guess that's game clipping for my stars then. I should note that the My Ego episode is tied for the most like BBL with my Gumbo Movie News BBL also having 17 likes as of this recording. It was also the only not Aberst BL to reach the top 5 most popular BLs of 2022. I knew that keeping Aberst, the ball, and Spongebob on the title was an excellent decision. They didn't really have any important moments, so let's just jump ahead to June. A sign for my reviews at April's Reloaded Game Place. All my series on Miss Star Master were performing badly. Spirit Star News and Spirit Star Talk ended up being canceled due to this, but I may say I ended it off on a good note. Let's reveal what is the most important moment of 2022. And the winner is... Me coming out as a romantic. I'm not surprised that my community picked this option. A video where someone comes out as part of the LGBTQ plus community will get views. I met good responses for of their own communities. Posting my coming out video at the start of Prime Month also helped too. 
Funny enough, I also can ask be a Cecil too, after Will I say that I got the definition one, and me also feeling that way too. So I tip a A now. Personally, my family was cool with me being L Ace. Though my mom was confused when I ordered a aromatic plant to have it in my room. Remember back when I said Spirit Star Master was in danger of getting can? Well, firstly, the cell was saved by the creation of their own YouTube channel. Back in 2020, man, there's a lot of stuff that I continue for that year. I made this video about considering moving Spirit Star Master to their own channel. However, it took until two years for me to finally make it happen. With my passing cell moving out, my channel nowhere has any more dead weight. I can safely continue making videos that I love without any worry. Also, my telesis name went back from Spirit Stars to Miss Star Master to avoid any confusion with the new town. What a delight didn't have any uploads. I did make a very personal post. On my community town. This was the start of me discovering about my mental health issues, but of course, I ignored it for two more months. August was a special month this year because this was the 10th year anniversary of me getting internet access. Technically, I did have access to Empire, but I guess was where I could weigh in my first account. To celebrate, I was every single cell that I made and reviewed them. But when you check the comments of that video, you can tell that I still not feeling well. September introduced the star system, the team of eight people called Star Mace. However, I purposely rebuilt them in a 80 first reloaded episode. In a typical episode, I will discuss topics either relayed or unrelated to 80 first while I play the game. So this was the perfect place to introduce the system without any backlash. What also helps is that Miss Star Master has a history of characters taking over while trying to go on at SE. So nobody will notice that we're all in the same body. Guess I did the best character Austin before you revealed that everyone's favorite content creator is Ashley Pomo alongside being autistic. It was worth a shot. Towards the end of September, I realized that I have downplayed my childhood trauma for long enough. In my honest words, I unwilling my mental health issue on YouTube. Afterwards, I bow to recognize my trauma and start healing for it. You stars have sent me some encouraging comments. I'm so proud that I have such a kind and understanding community out there. Because without you, my friends, my family, and the star sister, I couldn't make this out without your support. The third October event took place in October. This time, the story is that Dark Star is trying to get in contact with Essie for an unknown reason. It turns out Cecil's wife is out with her on Halloween. As 
October 2022 was also the first tell art where two titles participated. The other being Spirit Star Master. Like the Evidence 5 arc, most of the episodes didn't have good views, nor audience with Tessin. At this point, I still really make a poll if you stars want me to continue doing ours on this channel. Because I spent a lot of time and effort on to make it them. So to see my passes process like this failing, it makes me feel bad for wasting your stars' time. Speaking of this, it's time to reveal what is the most popular sort of 2022. And the winner is the DD in a minute or less. Almost all my sorts this year were taken from previous bills. But I'm glad that the Oi Oisio cert was the most viewed. This cert is a period of the week assesses on my review videos. However, I purposely get the next one and the characters decides is how I would personally draw them. This was the cert that I was very passionate about. And that's because around this time, I was fighting healing for my trauma. So that means I can basically do whatever I want while having to worry about people judging me. But I still have to follow my channel's D way in. November was also the month when I decided to reformat my review videos. Previously, my reviews were split up into three parts. The intro, the recap, and my opinion. But I realized that people don't watch my opinion chapters that much. So I decided to just cut that out and split them throughout the recap instead. I also certain my intros, so once you start the video nowadays, you should see the general idea of the video first. This effort paid off, as my midway conversation review performed better than most of my other reviews this year. At last, we landed in December. For this year since birthday video, I want to finally rebuild my best cartoon calendar of all time. Not BCF, the real best calendar. So I made the most passive video that I have ever done and upload it to YouTube. You can tell by my voice and the test on screen that I was really excited for it. I also took the test to properly tease my stars all about plurality as well as making them aware of the stigma that comes with it. As expected, the BU got Alice's views. You want to know why? Because while BCF's is so, it's one of my favorites. I'm not as much connected to the Fanta compared to the cells that I cover on this channel. But judging by my own experience of fandoms we added to new calendars, especially May ones, it was actually a blessing in disguise. So my Flesenter's best calendar mic was never hard after all. Huh, there seems to be a theme going on with your channel in 2022. What is it? Well, glad you asked, our star because apparently 2022 was the year of priority for this channel. What? Yep, remember this? Evidence 5, the star system, Blood Moon, Best Character Mike, all of that have pulled these into that in one way or another. But any tests? Is this because of me? I'm at BCM? Yep, 2022 was it 
only the 10th year anniversary of internet access, but it's also the 10th year anniversary of best cover saying my life. Though I guess I needed to explain to my stars about priority first before I could safely reveal him. Well, I say that you did a fantastic job of celebrating those anniversaries this year. Yeah, I did. Well, 2022 overall was endless. The fact that I slowly revealed why I want to pull people before revealing BCL was good enough for me. And hopefully in the future, people will stop promoting the stigma of well near diverses and be supportive of them instead. Hey Wick, the countdown to 2023 is starting. Really? Well, let's get started then. All right, here it comes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! 2023, here we come! Hey, where's Blue Star? Dark Star, why did you turn the moon wet again? Wait, the moon ain't supposed to turn wet until October. Star Master, this ain't the time for whistling. I'm not doing this. Wait. Oh no, this can't be good. What is it again? It's the 10th year anniversary of... A what? He's coming! Hey, it's Blue Star! We start that 8th Blue!